There are two parts to ultrasound, image acquisition, which is the easy part, and image interpretation, which is the hard part. And this holds true for ligament injuries. Arguably, the most common injured ligament we encounter is the ATFL. Here is a normal ATFL. This is the fibula and this the talus. The fluid deep to the ATFL is normal as it is a capsular ligament. It's also normal to see a small amount of fat within the joint, seen here as this echogenic material deep to the ligament. The ATFL is more often than not multi-slip. To appreciate this, we can simply scan in short axis, where we can easily identify a single, double, or sometimes triple slip or band of the ATFL. When injured, we describe ligament tears as partial or complete tears. We want to move away from the terms partial thickness and full thickness used to describe tendon tears. These terms Terms can be confusing when applied to ligaments and a full thickness incomplete tear for example doesn't make any sense when you apply that to a ligament. Here is a partial tear of the ATFL. The most common finding of a partial ligament tear on ultrasound is thickening of the ligament. This is due to the increased cellularity and fluid within the ligament tissue and disorganized remodeling. A partial tear can also be hypoechoic, heterogeneous and with a non-uniform thickness across the joint but the integrity of the ligament band across the joint remains. Whereas in a complete tear, we have a discontiguous ligament or a defined gap between tendon ends. So when describing ligament injuries on ultrasound, be it the ATFL or any other, use partial tear or complete tear. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe for more.